Yeah, so welcome everyone for today's chat seminar. We are very honored to invite uh, JM, um, JM Jeffrey and his dad. Um, I will hope you guys will have a lot of fun for the demo. And after the demo, um, Jeffrey's dad will tell a very interesting story about how Jeffrey become uh, so successful, like um, for all these years, how he did all his training and stuff. Okay, so should we control the time to start the demo? Okay, so before we start, let me just get Jeffrey to come over to the camera and to say hi to everyone. And uh, for the kids, uh, if you want to turn on your camera and to let Jeffrey see you, Jeffrey, could you come here? Okay, hello. <laughs> we are right now in uh, Riga. Uh, anybody who know where is Riga? It's actually uh, in Europe, it's in Latvia. So uh, we are here to, uh, so that Jeffrey can play in the Grand Swiss, you know, which is uh, a very uh, big event this year. The FIDE has two big events. One is World Cup uh, in Russia in July. And uh, this one, which is going to start the first round on 27th uh, is in Latvia. So uh, we flew here a couple of days uh, before so that we can adjust for the jet lag. And uh, now we are actually in the hotel room and uh, Jeffrey is going to start the SIMO right now. Okay, so Jeffrey, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, he, he said he's ready. So kids, are you ready? Okay, go ahead, Jeffrey. Good luck, everyone. That's from my game. He's only on my game right now. And for the kids, if you have any technical issue or you have not played this before, you have any problem that you need any help, just tell your parents and then your parents can speak out on the Zoom. And then we have some really smart chess dads, chess mom. They are smarter than me on this kind of technical things and then they can help you. Okay, looks like we have a few games that have started and then there is some other that have not started. So it seems like I cannot have all the game on the one screen. So if I just keep scrolling up and down, is it too, too much trouble? Uh, oh, I just stay on this, so. So for anyone is not in the game, at least you can see this 12. I guess after a few minutes, I will, I will move it down so you can see the other.
à tout de suite.哦，有个人有个问题。What's the question? John raised a hand.
Professor Guo? Sure. So uh, it's about 8.20 at my location. And uh, our plan is to, while the kids are playing the simul, and then you know, I can start to uh, uh, share with everyone. Uh, <clears throat> the, the kids, they are very focused on playing right now. They, some of the games are still in the opening phase, so it's going to last for a while. So, so while they are playing and uh, uh, very occupied, and then you know we can just do our thing. Is that good? Yeah, I think maybe we can. Uh, so you 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 expect they will play much longer? That's right. They're going to twenty play. minutes. Yeah. Okay. Definitely okay. more than twenty minutes. Yeah. Yeah, but but they. They may also want to listen to the story you talk about, Jeffrey. As the, well. the kids or yeah, the... the kids, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, I actually, um, uh, you see, uh, my topic today is more towards uh, the parents. Mm -hmm. uh, it's because basically, uh, you know, my philosophy is that. Uh, the chess journey of the kids, no matter whether they want to uh, be very focused on it and then to go far, or they are just having it as a hobby to build some credentials uh, for them to uh, have a good resume and or just have a hobby or have some fun. And it is a teamwork between the parents and the kids. So, uh, um, so that is how, uh, you know, I think about it, but, you know, they're, they're, uh, the games are going to last for a while. It looks like, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to take another 20 minutes or something. Okay, great. So I will stop sharing the screen. So you can start sharing the screen. And, okay. and then you can start the seminar. Part. And okay. for the for the kids, just focus on your game, and we will have the recording posted so you can you can listen to the part about Jeffrey's story afterward. But focus on your game for now. All right. Okay. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Professor Gould for giving me the opportunity to spend some time with my fellow chess parents. Uh, so uh, Professor Go is, uh, is a parent and also very passionate about helping other parents to raise their kids. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, she has a very uh, popular WeChat group uh, called the Gourmet, it's a gourmet uh, chat group. And, uh, you know, it, a lot of people know that I'm a big fan of good food. And uh, I was uh, uh, invited to that chat group. And then I have found that her uh, nickname on the chat group uh, is a Chinese uh, pastry uh, called uh, Yosebi. And uh, so, which, you know, is a a pastry that I like very much. So, so I, I was just mentioning that I really like it. And then uh, the next thing I know that uh, uh, she uh, ordered something very nice, you know, this pastry from Beijing, all the way from Beijing and, uh, and uh, mailed it to my house. And uh, I love, I love it very much. And I, you know, had that as my breakfast for a week. And, uh, and then, you know, she asked me that, you know, I want to have you to come over to talk to uh, the parents in my club and she has a club and, uh, and uh, you know, things that I have had her food, you know, I have to, <laughs> I have to, uh, you know, do a good job here. So, so therefore, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to really uh, have our, 
uh, heart to heart conversation with the fellow parents that uh, uh, something, you know, I think uh, is really uh, uh, important, uh, not just to, uh, you know, to to tell you something to make you happy, but really to, you know, uh, give you some of my experience that I think is going to be very helpful for, uh, for you. And, uh, you know, sometimes that, you know, something that is very helpful for you can be tough to listen, you know, in Chinese, uh, you know, we call it liang yao kou kou, zhong yan yi er. Okay, so, so, uh, so if you know you have found that some of my messages are in that nature, it's not because you know I want to, you know, be uh, arrogant or I. It's not because that I think you know I have the truth. Uh, you know, it's just that uh, you know I had the food. I have to <laughs> to uh, really to give something you know really good in return. So. Um, I'm just another chess parent. So I know that, uh, you know, um, even though that our kids, you know, they all probably you are here because your kids play chess. Uh, they are at a different rating level, uh, but there are many frustrations or challenges or headache, you know, that are, you know, pretty similar. And also the happiness, you know, the enjoyment also are similar too. So, so um, I probably have spent more time. Jeffrey have been in chess a whole lot longer than you know many of your kids. So, um, I want to you know tell you uh, what we have gone through and. Uh, Maybe what I tell you is useful, you know, maybe it's different from what you're doing right now, but that doesn't mean that what you're doing is wrong. Okay, so it's just that, you know, please be open minded, you know, to take whatever other people say and then to see whether that applies to you or not. All right. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> this is a picture that was taken in the year 2010, that when Jeffrey came back from what use uh, in Greece, and then he, he tied for the first place in his age group, which is under 10. So he was 10 years old at that year. And uh, Jeffrey was holding the trophy and behind, behind him uh, was his coach at that time, uh, Grandmaster Babakodi Anakov. And <clears throat> he uh, lives about 15 minutes away from my house. So every week uh, I took Jeffrey to his house to take chess lesson. And, uh, you know, as you can imagine that he has many uh, students and uh, many of them are uh, very, very good. And then <clears throat> made it to the Team USA uh, of the World Youth. And uh, uh, now, of course, these kids, some of them have already graduated from college, uh, like the girl who is next to, who is leading uh, th this girl, you know, her name is Sarah Chan, and she's uh, in medical school right now, already uh, graduated uh, from her bachelor program. She's in, in the medical school <clears throat> of uh, Washington University in St. Louis. And then, you know, the other kids, they, are Jeffrey's friends at that time. And then now they are all uh, uh, doing great things in our own area. And uh, Jeffrey is the only one that who is still in chess. And the other kids, of course, you know, they play chess as a hobby and sometimes represent their university, you know, in competitions, uh, but not chess professional. So, we, we, which is very good, okay? So very happy for them. And they still keep in touch. You know, so I'm sure that your kids, you know, um, are going to have this kind of friendship and, uh, uh, you know, maybe 10, 20 years later, and then they are going to have some great memories from their childhood uh, playing chess, making a lot of friends. Oh, okay. So this is Jeffrey when he was half a year, half year old, and you can see that. And then uh, 
uh, he has a sister who is uh, uh, about one and a half year older than him. So uh, that's mom. So I'm sure all of you have this kind of family, you know, in your uh, album. Okay, so, you know, that's how everything gets started. And then when he was young, you know, we take kids to um, birthday party and we have birthday party at our house. They have birthday party at their house. You know, kids are having fun. Uh, and when he is a little bit older, you know, we love to travel. And then, you know, this is when he was four and we are at the Glacier Park and, uh, you know, doing a hiking. And then he was tired and then so we stayed, we stopped and then, you know, play some cards, you know. And then uh, at five years old, then he started to play chess. And then, so this is the early days that he was playing chess with the other kid. Uh, his name is Refani. Uh, he's already also a GM. Uh, he is uh, 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 attending uh, UT Austin right now. So, okay. And uh, so this is uh, Jeffrey went to Texas Tech University. And at that time, Susan Polka uh, was the uh, head coach of the chess team. And, uh, uh, you know, she gave Jeffrey a lot of, you know, great tips and uh, always, um, uh, we always enjoy her friendship. So even nowadays, we are still, you know, in touch with each other. And then this is 2010 that, uh, uh, Jeffrey went to what use, and then those are her his teammates. So uh, uh, the kid behind him is Samuel Savin. You know, he actually just tied for the first place in the U.S. Championship, got third place based on the tiebreaker. <clears throat> and then the other kid is an international master. Uh, he is uh, on the chess team, got a chess scholarship, attending uh, UT Dallas. All right, his name is uh, Cam Wheeler. So, and you can see that these kids, you know, they were all born in year 2000 and they grow up together, okay? Okay, and then after he got the medal and then he was admitted to the uh, Kasparov uh, uh, Young Star program and uh, uh, getting the training from his team. And, uh, and then certainly uh, there were some social activities uh, um, along with the chess training. And then this is, uh, uh, there was a, a lobbying uh, activity at Capitol, in the Capitol Hill uh, in Washington, in DC. And then uh, Kasparov took a few kids uh, to uh, the Capitol Hill and then the, uh, the Congress man, and the woman, you know, they are playing jazz and of course they are amateurs and then Jeffrey was there to help them. It's a fun activity, okay? So, and as you can see that, you know, when the kids that if they uh, accomplish something and then get to certain level, and then there is some other uh, activities associated with it. It's not just chess, you know, um, it's just like any other things, okay? And uh, so this is uh, in 2016 that uh, Jeffrey went to India and uh, played in that year's World Junior Chess Championship. And uh, he got the champion. So which is, uh, which is something that, you know, the last time that the USA got the World Junior Championship, it was uh, 19 years ago. So it's a, uh, it's our, uh, uh, it's something that uh, uh, very uh, prestiged, uh, very hard to get. So, and uh, with that, and then he came back and he was the cover boy for the uh, chess magazine, uh, Chess Life. And, uh, and also, you know, he became the, uh, the foreign player uh, for, uh, in the Chinese uh, Buddhist League in the uh, Chinese Jiaqi Lian Sai. Okay, so he is actually on the team of Zhejiang. Okay, you probably know that um, 
the number one player in China, uh, Ding Liren, is from Zhejiang. Uh, uh, Jeffrey is, uh, uh, and, and the Dean, they are the teammates. Okay. And uh, so that started the professional uh, career of Jeffrey. And so this is uh, Jeffrey uh, with the Kasparov team that, uh, um, you know, he is the one uh, to, you know, meet them a couple of times a year, but, you know, on a regular basis is the, his team to, give him the water class training, okay? And this is the game that, you know, Jeffrey played with the number one of USA and the number two in the world. His name is Fabi uh, Cariano. He is also going to be uh, in uh, Latvia uh, to play in the same tournament that Jeffrey is going to play, so. All right, and then uh, this is uh, we, uh, are in Chicago with Jeffrey's coach, his family. So um, we have been very fortunate to have good coaches that uh, uh, it's usually a long-term relationship, you know. Uh, um, so, you know, eventually, you know, the families, they, they become very close friends and uh, um, you, I certainly, you know, will uh, make a strong point on this that uh, for any chess kid to grow, for any chess talent to grow, that getting help from good coach uh, is very important. So uh, the coaches, they are human beings too. You know, they have their family. You know, sometimes it's, uh, uh, I I can hear that some of the parents, they complain about the coaches. They are wondering whether they are getting a good coach or not, or whether this is the right coach for their kids. Uh, you know, uh, the relationship is not just to, you know, take chess lessons, right? It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's, how, it's basically how to grow the, the kid together. At that. Like, we are the one to be the kid's parents and then they, uh, as the coach that they actually, uh, for anybody who have been a professor, you know that what is your feeling about your students, especially your good students, the kids that who really love to learn. And uh, so the teamwork and the partnership and then the friendship uh, is very important. So uh, we actually, this time we flew from Chicago to, to here and then we also, had another meal with them and uh, spent some time with their family. So uh, it has been great. And then this is when Jeffrey was invited to uh, uh, speak at uh, Microsoft. So, and, and uh, you know, this is a simo that Jeffrey did in uh, uh, San Francisco, you know, the uh, mechanic in institute. So uh, the, the, um, the real simo, uh, the face-to-face -face simo is like this, right? It's uh, uh, people uh, sitting in circles and then Jeffrey will play one move on each board and then walk to the other board. So, uh, so of course, in the pandemic period that now everything moved to online and uh, uh, it's very fortunate that, you know, today, today we're having this 25 board simo and then, uh, you are not at the same location. You know, you are all over the country. Probably some of you are not in uh, in the USA. So, so that's a good thing about chess. And this is uh, uh, in San Francisco when Jeffrey did that Samo, and I have an alumni, and he is a real estate developer. You know, he took us to uh, uh, to the uh, Yao Ming uh, uh, cafeteria, and it was very. Um, inspiring for Jeffrey that, uh, you know, Jeffrey said if someday that he becomes, you know, at that level, you know, uh, uh, you know, this real estate developer is going to, uh, you know, have a restaurant with us and then to, to have a, you know, a Jeffrey cafeteria. Okay, so hopefully, you know, um, that can turn into reality someday and, uh, uh, people are enjoying good food along with some chess games over there. So 
you know, I think it's a, it's a, a very interesting concept. So uh, then this is in 2019 and the Jeffrey played in World Cup and then he was, he made it into top eight and then he was eliminated in the next round. So he was not able to make it into top four, but he made it into top eight. So which is uh, quite an accomplishment as a young player. And uh, this is, uh, uh, we were staying at the same hotel with Vishyana. You know, I don't know if there are any Indian parents here. Uh, uh, Vishyana is the national hero of India. He was the world champion for many years. And uh, he, uh, uh, so this year in the uh, online Olympiad that uh, 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 Vishy was both one of Team India and Jeffrey was both one of Team USA. And, uh, you know, they played two games and Jeffrey lost the first game and but beat Vishy in the second game. So that the team got into a tiebreaker. And then in the tiebreaker, that Jeffrey beat the number two player of India and then led Team USA to the <coughs> to the final. So so uh, Team USA beat India in the semifinal and but lost in the final to Team Russia. So so that's uh, uh, the silver medal that Jeffrey and Team USA got uh, in actually it's just last month in September. So it was quite an accomplishment. Okay. So, and then this is the game that Jeffrey had with the current world champion, uh, Magnus Carlsen uh, from Norway. And, uh, and this is Jeffrey was playing with the previous world champion, uh, Kramnik. So, uh, Jeffrey draw this game, and then in the other game with Magnus Carlsen, Jeffrey also draw him. And uh, you know, we certainly we travel a lot, and uh, uh, we make it fun. And then this is uh, actually uh, Jeffrey's uncle and aunt. Uh, they are in China right now, and when we were having uh, Jeffrey has a tournament in Swiss, in 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 Switzerland. Uh, and then they also came to Switzerland. So we had a family vacation there. And, uh, you know, you can see that uh, my daughter, now she's, you know, she's already a big girl, so. Okay, and then Jeffrey was uh, part of the St. Louis Archbishop team. And then uh, in that year, uh, 2020 and Jeffrey and, uh, uh, was on this team and then the team won the Pro Chess League Championship. Uh, and this year uh, they got into the final again and then but they lost to uh, to Team Russia. So it's second place. Okay, so all right. So this is the uh, online Olympia that I just talked about that uh, Team USA beat India but lost to uh, Russia in the final, got the silver medal. So, okay. So that's basically, you know, s some of the interesting things that I want to share with you uh, about Jeffrey's uh, uh, chess journey. So, uh, you know, I hope, you know, you can get the takeaway that, you know, Jeffrey uh, is a, an ordinary kid, but, he has done some extraordinary things in chess. So uh, I'm sure that your kid have a talent and have a passion in his or her own area. And, uh, you know, uh, if they have their passion and then they are willing to work on it, and then we as parents, if we can give them the right help, and then they are going to be able to uh, accomplish uh, this kind of thing or even more. So it may be in chess, it may be in some other areas. So, uh, so we as parents that, uh, uh, you know, we are very happy to be in their journey, you know. So uh, I, I'm not a tiger dad, you know, his mom is not a tiger mom. 
we uh, don't have this uh, philosophy of being tiger mom and tiger dad and, you know, drive kids to do things. You know, we uh, uh, want to grow wisdom and um, uh, we want to uh, uh, give them the opportunity to have uh, an enjoyable uh, childhood and then grow into uh, someone who has the happiness and uh, successful okay and then you know happiness and successful you know don't need to be in conflict with each other okay and uh, you know they should come together okay so um so a few things that you know it is my philosophy and i want to share with you and um, uh, the few things is first is you know let kids enjoy the game you know chess is just a game right so and uh, sometimes I have seen that, you know, chess uh, has uh, got a lot of pain for chess, for kids, okay? Uh, so um, I just believe that, you know, if kids don't like chess, don't get them into chess, okay? So, and sometimes that I got this question of, you know, my why my kids are not interested in chess or, uh, you know, my kids initially have very strong interest in chess, but now, you know, they have, he or she have lost it. You know, why is that, right? So um, you probably, I think, you know, uh, parents probably have some responsibility in that, right? So if you just uh, do your best to make the, a chess to be a fun game in them, you know, not to give them too much pressure, not to criticize them, and, you know, not to make them suffer uh, when they, they don't play well, when they lose a game, uh, when they have some bad Sorry, behavior. Sorry, I set the, oh, set the time too low. Okay, so Jeffrey, what happened? Is already finished? Yeah. Okay, so... Good. All right. Okay. And uh, so that's that's uh, that's what I uh, want to share with you because for chess that it is a very fun game. So you know, trust that chess has its own charm to attract the kids. So our pa parents just need to not to hurt uh, that. Uh, fun and uh, make the kids to you know suffer in that right so if you just let them to have fun in it you know they are going to stay in it and then they are going to grow in chess okay and uh, chess uh, can develop very important skills and traits for kids and a lot of parents and sometimes they are wondering you know uh, whether you know I want to uh, invest so much in chess, you know, what chess is going to bring to my kids, you know, especially when kids have competing interests, you know, like, should I take my kids to a uh, math class or should I take them to chess class, right? So, um, you know, here I just want to let you know that chess can be very, very good for kids, okay? So it's definitely worth your uh, time and the investment. Okay, uh, sometimes, you know, parents don't realize chess has such strong uh, uh, capability of growing the kids and then, uh, you know, they, they think it's just a, a game. So it's, it is a game, but it has great educational benefit. So um, in my experience that chess has very strong uh, capability to grow kids uh, skill uh, in these four areas, you know, one is calculation and the logical thinking. That, that's a lot of people uh, can see that very easily. Okay, so, but that's actually the first level. It's the very basic level. You know, the second thing that chess is so great for kids is that it's going to help them to grow their strategic thinking capability. 
okay? Because chess is a strategy game, right? It's, you know, your kid is the general to direct an army, the white army or the black army to, uh, uh, to fight, right? To trying to win the war. So you can imagine that, you know, a lot of the thinking, you know, it's very, very strategic. So chess, who, kids who are good at chess will have very strong strategic thinking. And uh, number three is creativity, okay? Um, as you can imagine that, you know, nowadays every game, if it has been played, then it's going to get into the database. So everybody have the same database, right? Everybody have the same information. Then how you can beat your opponent, okay? It has to come from the creativity, right? You have to come up with something new so that you can get the advantage. So, you know, kids, when they are sitting at the board, they are constantly creating new ideas and uh, uh, formulate their plan, okay? So, you know, creativity uh, will be really uh, grown in that process. And last but not least is the mental toughness, right? So how they deal with loss, how they recover from loss, and then that kind of thing is very, very uh, important in chess. And because uh, chess is basically a sport, right? You know, I, you can, you can look at me and you know that my kids probably will not be, you know, so strong in, you know, football, basketball, or baseball. Okay, but yeah, then, you know, they have the talent. Jeffrey has the talent in chess and then it becomes his sports. And then, you know, and then it becomes a great tool to grow his men mental toughness. Okay. And, um, what can parents do for kids? You know, I know we are, you are here because you, you want to help your kids to grow. And what can we do? And what can we not do? Sometimes that there are parents, they are trying to do too much, okay? Or they are trying to do something that, uh, you know, it's not, the effort is not in the right area, it's not paying off the right way. So, uh, that's what I want to share with you, what parents can do for their, uh, in the growing process of the kids, okay? So first is to watch, okay? In Chinese, you know, I call it the shou wa, okay? Because, you know, we are as parents, we are going to just be there for them, right? It's not that when we are there, we are going to make sure that the kids don't fall down. Okay, so for the kids to fall down, that experience can be very um, uh, educational for them. You know, it has great developmental values for them. So for us to, it's not that we are going to never, you know, to prevent them from falling down. We just need to be there when they fall down and then to uh, encourage them to get up or to just to watch how they get up and then gives them some guidance, okay? So therefore, after that, they are going to know what is right, what is wrong, and then how, you know, what is painful, you know, and then so that they can avoid that in their future, right? So, uh, so, uh, so just being there is just going to be, you know, really good for them. And second, it's, we need to believe in them, you know, believe in them that, you know, they can do great things. They are going to have a great future. They are going to have, have a happy life and then they are going to uh, become a great lawyer, a great doctor, a great professor, a great scientist, a great engineer. And because I sometimes, let's say just in chess, and then there are parents that, who have been wondering whether my kids have talent or not. And then, so that kind of doubt, uh, you know, does not help, okay? So it's just to believe in them, okay? And uh, number three is to give them a safe harbor, okay? To, to give them the safety, right? So that they can grow, okay? To protect them, okay? Uh, not. Not that that they would never fall down, right? But it's just, uh, you know, um, uh, always encourage them, right? Sometimes that when they uh, lose a game or have some setback, but then, you know, you are there to 
tell them that it is okay. And then, you know, it is a learning process. As long as you can learn from your mistake, you're going to become better, okay? And then number four, you know, is to provide the resources. You know, I have found there are many parents that when they think of their, their role is just, you know, I should provide resources. But to me, uh, you know, the, the number one, two, three, they are actually more important, okay? There are a lot of resources there, you know? And so for anyone to become good in chess these days, it's not because of lack of, you know, those resources, okay? So because I, I have found that there are some parents that when they come to me, you know, they ask questions about, you know, they're trying to get advice on certain things like, uh, you know, what kind of puzzle book should I get for my kids? And uh, but what kind of uh, opening books should I get for, the, for my kids? Uh, it's not that those things are not important, but what is more important is no matter which puzzle book you pick for your kids or your kids pick for themselves, what's important is that they have to work on that book. They have to finish that book, right? So there are, you know, many books, they are all very good, you know, like the, you know, 5334, you know, the 4001, and, you know, they give a lot of very good quizzes, but the key is whether your kids would go through that whole book to get the benefit of that book, or it's just too often that, you know, the kids, they do a few pages and they do a, a dozen pages, two dozen pages, and then they stop it. So if they don't finish the whole book, they don't do this thing consistently for a long time, no matter what kind of good book, it's not going to be useful. But if you can finish the whole book, then regardless of what book you pick, you are going to become a strong player. I hope that makes sense to you, right? Okay, so that's the, that's the, the key. So, uh, and then also, you know, this is cartoon. I think it's very funny, right? <laughs> it's, uh, you know, I hope you can all read Chinese, right? It's just, you know, because there are too many parents, they are very pushy on the kids and, and um, uh, you know, and sometimes that it's, uh, uh, they don't realize that they need to grow a lot. Sometimes, you know, the parents, they are too concentrated on uh, how my kids would grow. You know, they don't realize that they need to grow too. And for me and my wife, that we are very uh, big on this part that, you know, we uh, want to grow ourselves. And that's going to reduce the frustration a lot. You know, sometimes when you see that your kids are not growing in their rating or in their chess capability, you are frustrated. But if you focus on your own growth, then that's something that you have control. And then, you know, just relax and believe in your kids and then they are going to grow in their own way. Okay, so that's why, you know, this is a question that, you know, I ask it myself, I, I don't ask whether kids, they are good enough to become champion. I ask, am I good enough to be a champion's parent? Okay, so, uh, so that's the, okay. So that's the one that uh, I want to share with you. Um, so, is that helpful? Anyone who give me some feedback or, or you have already fall asleep? <laughs> <laughs> Great talk. Um, I think uh, if we look at the game, I think there are multiple kids win. And then uh, my son told oh. me because they win because Jeffrey lost on time. I don't okay. really understand what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. I hope, I hope kids all have fun. So anyone from the audience, you have any questions? Uh, we can still do like maybe a couple more minutes for questions. You can open your mic or type your question in the chat. Very nice job for everyone today. Okay, I have, uh, so um, Professor Gu sent me some questions uh, from the uh, parents uh, who previously, uh, you know, uh, fill out in that form. So um, as I said, you know, for example, 
the the uh, uh, like the uh, s some of them are very good questions, like you know the chess camp. Okay, so um, each chess camp is different, right? So uh, as parents, you actually need to do a lot of homework to understand, you know, whether those people uh, who organize that that uh, chess camp, you know, what is their target uh, skill level? What is the target age group? You know, who are going together? And uh, I would say sometimes that your parents, you can just do the camp. You can organize those camp yourself. Okay, so just have because parents they have very similar, you know, challenges, right? Right, you know, you find some other fellow parents that they have the same needs, and then uh, chess camp uh, would provide a good environment for the kids that they can hang out together and learn together. Sometimes, you know, private license is very lonely, right? It's a uh, uh, to have this kind of social fun uh, of chess is very good. That's so. Uh, you know, uh, you need to know, uh, like I have got Jeffrey to go to, you know, camps along the way. And uh, sometimes, uh, uh, you know, most of the time it's very good, you know, occasionally there is a couple of them that is, uh, you know, not as good as, as I hope for, uh, you know, but, you know, parents, you just need to uh, understand that and the study and then to learn about it and so uh, it's very hard for me to in to introduce individual ones okay so I, I know in Dallas there are a few of them they are very good so Jeffrey's coach Baba Kuri Anikov's camp uh, you know he's full-time and he has a team you know to do this thing so his camp is quite good and uh, in Dallas, there is another uh, North uh, Texas Chess Academy. They have very good camps. And, uh, but so, you know, you may not be able to come to Dallas, right? So you, uh, you know, you uh, sometimes that you probably have to organize one in your own area. So let's say if you're in North Dakota, you know, <laughs> that's going to be hard, right? So, but, uh, you know, you can get some people to, uh, to come over the GMs that they sometimes when their time uh, would allow them, you know, you pay them the right money, they are willing to come over. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, some of the questions, uh, some of them are very technical questions, right? How to grow their middle game and the end game techniques. Okay. So, that certainly is not my expertise, you know, and so it's you, you, uh, you need to get your kids to work on it and then you need to get him a good coach so that uh, uh, that's going to, uh, you know, allow them to do that, right? So, um, okay, so um, like how many games do you want to do every day for Jeffrey Classic games to go over? Uh, there has never been a fixed formula, okay? Sometimes one game can take several days, okay? Because it is it has a lot of uh, 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 content, you know, for the kids to learn sometimes that, you know, one day he can look at several. So, so therefore, uh, the key is to, you know, get them to be interested, you know, get them motivated. To me, I think, uh, you know, our kids, I know many of the parents, you know, you have very good education, you have graduate degrees, and then you graduated from top university, you know, top program, and all of this, right? So, so therefore, um, your kids have very good genes, trust that. Okay, so if, you can keep them motivated, having fun in chess and keep learning. And then it's going to be, it's going to be good, right? So, uh, but if, you know, somehow uh, they have lost the interest, you know, maybe sometimes it's because of the parents, maybe it's not because of the parents, right? So, so, uh, so we as parents that if you want your, to keep the 
interest, keep your kids interest in it. And then, you know, they definitely they have enough talent. Sometimes we question our kids talent too much. Okay, they have the talent. Okay, they have the, as long as they have the passion, they are going to be very successful. So, okay, so, and I have seen some of the questions here. Okay. Um, okay, people ask me, yes. Okay, do I have struggle? Yes, I have struggle, right? I was, you know, you know, I'm a very typical Chinese, um, Chinese guy, right? You know, going to top elementary school, top middle school, top high school, top university, and then, you know, the path that I'm very familiar with is for my kids to follow that path. So the current path Jeffrey has 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 a pursue is certainly something new, right? So, um, but you know, to me, it's important that he does something that he is passionate about. You know, he should not do something that I am passionate about and he is not passionate about. So therefore, uh, you know, once I understand that, you know, it's not a struggle anymore. Okay, so sometimes that, you know, uh, we as parents, we try too hard to design a dream life for them. And uh, I believe that, you know, they, they know what is their dream life better than us because it is their life, okay? They're going to make some mistakes just like us, you know. You know, I have made a lot of mistakes when I was young and I'm still making mistakes today, right? But uh, making mistakes is just part of life, so, um, okay? So, uh, all right, so that's the, that's basically, that's basically uh, the, the, the key questions. Okay, good. All right, okay. Anybody who have some burning questions that you want to ask me or, you know, um, or that's all for tonight. And then I, it's, it's for tonight for me. I know you, right now you are in the USA, you are still during the day, so. Okay, thank you everyone for attending today and thank you for the fun game and for all the very fun pictures and all the stories. And um, we will post the recording in WeChat and also on our um, YouTube channel. And um, yeah, looking forward to see you guys in the next seminar. Thank you.